For the past three years, I've heard my good friend Jeff tell me stories about rattling whitetail in western Montana. Since the first time I heard his stories, it's intrigued me, and I've wanted to give it a shot. Last fall, things came together, and I was able to join the rattling legend himself for a nine-day hunt in western Montana. When we arrived at the cabin, we wasted no time in getting our gear together and hitting the woods for a short evening hunt. Lo and behold, on the first set, Jeff rattled in a buck. It came off to my left and never presented a shot. I couldn't believe how quickly the buck came and left without hardly being noticed. We were up before daylight, hiking to our location. We began the first set right at first light. The day proved to be a little bit slow, but by the end of the day, on the very last set, Jeff managed to rattle in two bucks. rattled in a buck that Ryan just killed. Possibly two bucks. Ryan, Ryan thinks I'm there's, saw there's de definitely two bucks. Two bucks. I only saw one of them. <laughs> uh, one of them was a good one. Hopefully, hopefully Ryan shot the good one. We're gonna go find out. <laughs> so. Maybe they're both good ones. I don't know. I can tell you that the one looks like he's Kind of dark, dark horns now. I knew there were two bucks. I think you said shoot. But I'm glad. I'm. I was worried you weren't going to get a shot. He stopped just in this clearing. Did he? Like just Perfect. Barely. Let's yeah. go. I'm dying to see what he is. Can you see him? Yeah. Not bad. What are you talking about? Five by five, huh? Pretty sure. Oh, four by five? No, five by five. Sweet. Awesome. That is cool. Darker, Look at that. Darker horn. That's a pretty buck. Yeah. Is that the one you think you were looking at? Uh, you got a long main beam. Yeah, I think it was actually. Yep, because it curls up. Cool. Nice. Nice uniform buck. Shoot ya. Yeah. That's your first whitetail buck, right? Absolutely. Yep. Rattled in. Awesome. <laughs> That's fun drag out of here. It's actually gonna be easier than you think. We got a shortcut. Sweet. Nice shot, Ren. Yeah. That was uh probably I don't know, 110, 120 yards, and 
The hard part was it was offhand, but he wasn't moving. He was standing still. And I had to creep forward like this to see his antler behind the tree and then creep back to his body for the shot. Great. So. Well, he said the rule was if you had dark horns, shoot, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a dandy. Nothing wrong with that, that's for sure. Cool. Pretty fat too. Yeah. Awesome. Love the red brow. Oh yeah. The pretty buck. Awesome. Huh? After a late night of skinning the buck and dragging it out, we awoke early with great anticipation of what was to come. It proved to be a challenging hunt for the next few days. We managed to see a couple of smaller bucks, but nothing that was shootable status yet. With myself already tagged out, I chose not to carry a rifle the next few days in the woods. And our technique for rattling was I would watch one side of a draw while Jeff would rattle on the other. And then we thought somehow I'd be able to alert him if a buck came up my side that he couldn't see. Well, as it turned out, that only happened about three times where a buck walked down my side instead of his. It became frustrating, but it was also really impressive to watch these deer, how stealthy they were. They were unbelievably spooky. Every twig, every rustle could send them absolutely running. As the week wore on, hunting remained tough. We stuck with it and hunted hard, but we began to run out of time. So on the very last day, Jeff decided to lower the standard a little bit, and the priority became to, f to fill the tag and take home some meat. And that's exactly what we did. Well, last day buck down. <laughs> last day little buck down. Been all over the place, up around all those nasty blowdowns. The nice thing about this one is uh, it looks like it landed on the trail. I've already said he wanted to shoot a buck and have him <laughs> land on the trail. Well, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go find out what it is. Oh, look, oh, little guy. Little two, two point leg yards, I think. Two point leg yards. He did, he landed right in the trail. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I told you I thought my he stopped. My dream come true. I thought he stopped right in the trail. Thank you Lord. That is awesome. Is he done? Well, it'll be good eating. There you go. Two point with one eye guard. <laughs> no, it's not an eye guard. <laughs> <laughs> 